Hello viewers, welcome to the section Segmentation, Understanding Images Better. In this section we will learn about Contour Detection and the Watershed Algorithm, Super Pixels and Normalized Graph Cut. Now we move on to the video Contour Detection and the Watershed Algorithm. In this video we will learn about the Contour Image and Watershed Image using the Contour Detection Algorithm and Watershed Algorithm. Segmenting an image is the process of breaking down an image into smaller regions that individually hold meaningful information and help us understand the overall content of the image. First, we will learn about the contour detection algorithm and watershed algorithm. Before we look into each algorithm specifically, a nice observation is how all of these algorithms internally use clustering of pixels based on their color values. The only difference between these algorithms is the parameters that are used for clustering. Some use just the Euclidean distance, and some use more complicated formulas. Let's start with one of the easiest techniques of segmentation, contours. Simply put, contours are nothing but boundaries of objects in an image. Contours always form closed loops, whereas edges can remain open. A contour detection algorithm will try to group edges together that will result in a closed loop. Open the terminal, and define code in Atom to extract contours in an image. For better results, we first convert the image to grayscale and run a Sobel edge detection over it. We have imported libraries from skImage, which is highlighted. Then we have defined image.open with image name, that is contours.png, and defined image.show, which is used to display the contours image. The I am read line of code will read an image. And to convert the image from grayscale, we have defined the RGB to gray line of code. We have defined the Sobel function to find edges in the image. This highlighted block of code will display the image and plot all contours. This measure.findContours line of code will find contours in the image. Lastly, the plot.show will display the resulting image. Let's check the result of our code. Go back to our terminal and type python3contours.py. This will run our program. With this resulting image, we can assume that our code works well. As we can see, the algorithm was able to detect the circle and the square perfectly. The two color boundary that you see in the output consists of the inner and the outer edges for each shape. As the image gets more complicated, the results are not that good. You can try an experiment with Lena's image and see the results yourself. Now, open the code again in our Atom. The first thing you need to do is place the Lena's image in the folder and then in the contours.py file. You need to change the image name from contours to Lena. Once done, go back to our terminal and run our contours.py file. As a result, you can see the differences clearly in this image. So how do we tackle more complicated images? Simple, by using more sophisticated algorithms. Let's look at the watershed algorithm next. The most common way in which this algorithm is explained in research papers and other texts is in comparison to geographical reliefs. All the object's background and foreground in the image are craters. As we know, our text task is to identify the center of each of these craters. By doing so, we will identify all the local minimums in our image. These local minimums will give us an approximate idea of where the object could possibly be located. In technical terms, these local minimums are called markers. We assign each marker with a unique color and then start filling these colors until we reach the boundary of an adjacent marker. Open the terminal and type the py file name which will redirect you to Atom you can see the code for the watershed algorithm. First, we have imported libraries from skImage. Then the data.astronaut line of code will read the image that you want to segment. We have defined the RGB to gray function to convert it into grayscale. The highlighted line of code will convert the image pixel values to unsigned int using the image as ubyte function. This is because the gradient function expects the image in a certain format. After that, the markers block of code will calculate the local gradients of the image and only select the points that have a gradient value of less than 20. This highlighted block of code will apply the watershed algorithm. To show the image, we have used tight layout and plot show lines of code. Go back to our terminal and check the result. Our output looks good. Let's look at the output of the algorithm to have a better understanding. The output label contains the pixel-wise label of which object that pixel belongs to. The watershed algorithm was an improvement over the contour detection algorithm, but it is not over yet. We can further improve the results of segmentation by using k-means clustering and finally using a graph cut over the clusters.